Hello everyone, welcome back to another advent calendar video. Today I've got episode three of this year's series and we have the MAC advent calendar, which I do every single year and it is known for being a little bit disappointing, but we get it every year just to see if it's improved. And I feel like usually it does get a little bit better each year, but it's still a little bit crap. However, I've had quite a few comments this year from people telling me that apparently it's good now. So yeah, I'm excited to see what's changed and see if it's any better. Although looking on their website, it currently has three stars. We'll find out though, we'll be the judge of that. Um, so this year it's their 2023 Frosted Frenzy advent calendar um, and it cost me, uh, oh, 170 pounds. So it is quite an expensive one considering it isn't usually that great. Okay, last year it was 160 five pounds so it has gone up by a fiver so yeah i'm gonna unbox it we're gonna see if i've been ripped off for the maybe like sixth year in a row now <laughs> so this is what it looks like this year it's a bit of an interesting one you open it out like a standard advent calendar like a book and then you put all of the boxes inside you've also got this thing on it what is it <laughs> i think it's meant to be like a big snowflake and it sticks out and it's like a big 3d one just in the middle there thoughts what are we thinking of the packaging this year i don't know it's yeah okay so it turns out it's a little bit awkward to get out when it stood upright so i've just had to lie it down flat but at least now you can see the nice decoration in the middle a lot better so yeah that's kind of spiky okay so they're not boxes they're just like little flaps that you lift up um day number one <laughs> We have, uh, oh, we're starting off with a mascara. Um, yeah, this is the MAC Stack Mascara. I'd say that's a full-sized one as well. That's a pretty decent size. Um, yeah, I think that was a pretty good day number one. Okay, day number two. Ooh, this is different. No, it's not. We get these every year. But I think it's it's because it's big. Oh my goodness. Usually when we get these, they're tiny, like little sample sized ones. This is a MAC lip glass. Um, This one's in the shade Oh Baby. And it's like a bronzy kind of sparkly colored one. But we got a full sized one. That never happens. My goodness, this is going to be so boring if I can't roast it this year. Okay, day number three. Got another pretty big feeling thing. It's a big one. So we've got another lip product. This is their Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color in the shade Devoted to Chili. Oh yeah, I, sh I swear we always get this one. Um, But this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a brownie ready kind of shade and it's a liquid lipstick. Okay, day number four, we have this one. Okay, we get this every single year as well. I don't think I've ever opened a MAC advent calendar and not received this. This is their Prep and Prime Lip Balm. It's just like a lip balm on a stick. Day number five, something squishy. So it's gonna be a lip gloss. I guarantee it's a lip gloss. We also get this every single year. It's just a clear lip gloss. It's kind of boring, but I guess some people would enjoy it. But yeah, this one is in the shade it hasn't got a shade because it's clear. Day number six. Okay, this one feels, oh no, it doesn't feel that small. It is skinny, but it's quite long. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's an eyeliner. This is their Brush Black Brush Stroke 24 Hour Liner. So I'm guessing it's just like a, yeah, it's just like a black liquid felt tip liner. I don't think we normally get that. I feel like usually we get a weird eyeliner. Okay, day number seven. It feels like the same thing. It's definitely the same kind of shape as the one before. This is their Color Excess Sterling Shiver. Is that meant to be a play on sterling silver? Um, gel pencil eyeliner. Oh, okay, so this one's like a little eyeliner pencil. Yeah, it looks like a kind of glittery silver color on just like a little sort of crayon eyeliner pencil. Something different, and again, it seems like full-sized. I think so far everything has been full-sized. What is going on? We must be in some alternate universe. A MAC advent calendar, and so far nothing is tiny. Okay, day number eight. <gasps> We've got a lipstick and again, it's a full-sized one. I'm gonna say the word full-sized so many times in this video, or maybe not. Depends, it might go downhill from here, but I've already said it quite a lot, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, this is one of their retro matte lipsticks in the shade All Fired Up. I'm guessing it's gonna be a red, yeah. Okay, so it's just like a bright red lipstick. Very bright red, actually. Day number nine. Oh, this feels like something to do. <gasps> this feels like it's gonna be a mirror. Yeah, we have a mirror. Not really much to say about it. It's quite a small one. It just looks like this. It's a little circle. I feel like 
when the calendar is 170 pounds should there be doors with just a little mirror in it i don't know but i mean it's okay so far that's been like the only door that's been a little bit poop day number 10 we have this little one here oh my goodness we have another lipstick it's another full-sized one uh this one is one of their retro matte lipsticks again but this one is in the shade runway hit okay i have no idea what shade that could be oh okay it's like a kind of pinky sort of color yeah i'd say that's kind of like a nudie pink day number 11 we got this little one here this one feels oh i know what this is gonna be it's gonna be one of their little like individual eyeshadows i think yeah this is one of their frost eyeshadows and this one's in the shade satin taupe yeah just like a very dark cool toned brown colour um, but because it's one of their frost eyeshadows it's got a little bit of a kind of it's not glittery but it's got a bit of a sheen to it I guess. Day number 12 is all the way over here this feels chunky oh yeah it's their paint pots this is their pro long wear paint pot in the shade art therapeachy is that meant to be a play on therapy <laughs> therapeachy sure um yeah it's one of their paint pot thingies which is kind of like an eyeshadow yeah it's like a cream eyeshadow product um and this one looks like this it's in a peachy color which makes sense i was gonna say it looks nice but i would never use something like this but i feel like some people might like it okay day number 13 this feels like a chunky fella <gasps> I mean, this is something different. Wait, MAC do skincare stuff? This is the Hyper Real Skin Canvas Balm. It says it's a moisturizing cream. Ooh, so I'm guessing it's like a, yeah, it's like a little moisturizer. Smells all right. Um, yeah, I completely forgot or didn't know that MAC did skincare products, but they definitely don't usually put that in their advent calendars. It's usually like all makeup stuff. So that's something a bit different. Is that full sized? I have no idea. It's quite small, so I'm guessing probably not. Tut tut tut. We've ruined the full sized streak. Day number 14. We've got another lip gloss. And again, it's a freaking big one. I can't believe that, honestly. I'm so used to them being so tiny. Um, yeah, another MAC lip gloss. This one is in the shade love child this one is in a kind of pinky color but it's got a load of like gold sparkly bits in it as well um so yeah it looks pretty oh my goodness i just had to fully get up and look around the entire thing because i was like there's just no day 15 it doesn't exist they've forgotten it it's right here like it's quite literally right next to me day number 15 we have we got another long skinny one that feels like some kind of pencil kind of thing. Oh my goodness, they really rolled this one up. I think we've got a lip liner, and again, it's a freaking full-sized one. This is one of their lip pencils, and this one's in the shade Saw, as in like S-O-A-R, not like S-O-R-E, like ouch, Saw. That would be a bit weird. Um, and this one is in a kind of nudie, yeah, I guess like a nudie shade, kind of maybe with a hint of pink. Day number 16, I think it's gonna be another lipstick. This one's in like a different packet. Like um, normally they're in that sort of matte packaging, but this one's all shiny. Um, so yeah, we've got another lipstick. This one is one of their Lustre Glass lipsticks. And I think the shade is Sea Sheer. So this is, oh, this is what it looks like. It's just a pinky reddy kind of color, I guess. But I'm guessing because of what kind of lipstick it is, it's probably more of like a sheer one. So it won't show up too much. Here he is. Day number 17 is this one. <gasps> something different again oh my goodness this is heavy um i have no idea what it is though there's no information on this oh i think it's huh what the fuck is this okay it just says powder kiss okay so probably a lip product if it's kiss because you do that with lips powder kiss velvet blur slim stick this one is in the shade spice world it's like a very brown toned lipstick but this is different like it's a different kind of style to their normal lipsticks okay day number 18 we've got this tiny little one here i think it's going to be another individual eyeshadow and it is what the hell it looks the same as the other one this is one of their satin eyeshadows and it's in the shade brun but it looks really similar to the one from earlier it's just like a really dark brown wait where is the other one i mean okay this one is lighter but i don't know they're just very similar um but yeah there we go another little eyeshadow day number 19 <gasps> We have something different again. Oh my goodness. Is this some more skincare stuff? I think it is. This is their Hyper Real Sieve, 
Ser <laughs> definitely needs a semenizer. Serumizer. It just looks like a weird word to say. Skin balancing hydration serum. Okay, so we've got another skincare product. We've got a little serum. This is quite small. There's no way this is full sized. Day number 20. Oh, we have another lipstick. Again, this one's in the shiny packaging. So I'm guessing it's another one of the same kinds. It's one of their luster glass lipsticks. This one is in the shade syrup. I'm guessing it's gonna be like a nudie brown kind of color. Not really. It's more like a nudie pink. I feel like a lot of the lipsticks have looked quite similar. When I get to the bit where I do my makeup, I'll have to like get them all together and see, but, but I feel like we have had quite a few where I've said it's like a nudie pink. And again, I'm guessing it's more of like a sheer lipstick because of the type of one that it is. Okay, day 21, my lucky number. <laughs> we have something long and skinny, my favorite kind. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we've got another lip liner. Yeah, this is again one of their lip pencils, but this one is in the shade Whirl. This is kind of similar to the other one, but a bit more of like a brownie nude. I think the other one was more of like a pinky nude. This is definitely more of a brown nude but yeah there we go another full-sized lip liner is that 22 i can't even see from back here <laughs> i mean i would be able to see if there wasn't a fucking silver tree in my way <laughs> it's, it's I joke, i'm joking it's lovely okay so it looks like we've got another one of the eye pencils yeah this is another color excess gel pencil eyeliner this one is in the shade ritzed and blitzed um and this one is oh it's more of like a goldy kind of color i think the first one was more of a silver but this is more of like a goldy kind of champagne color um again it's just like a glittery eyeliner crayon kind of thing day 23 we've got another lipstick and again it's full size this one's different packaging again no it's not is it? This one feels like extra matte. Uh, this is one of their Powder Kiss lipsticks in the shade Teddy 2.0. Oh, because I know they have their one in the shade Velvet Teddy, but this is Teddy 2.0. Have they made like a new Velvet Teddy? Oh no, that ain't like Velvet Ted. This is more of like a like really pale brown shade, like a really pale nude. I don't really like the look of that. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. Not my favorite. So this is a 24 day advent calendar. So we're onto the final day. Um, apparently Mac don't think you deserve something on Christmas day. Bit savage really. I, I always wonder why some advent calendars do 24 instead of 25. I guess they just didn't have space, did they? Like where would they have put it? <laughs> Maybe this is your treat for day 25. <laughs> anyway, day 24, we've got the final product, which is, it feels like another little like individual eyeshadow. It is. Oh yay, it's such an exciting one. <laughs> this is another little individual eyeshadow. It's one of their Powder Kiss Soft Matte Eyeshadows. This one is in the shade My Tweedy. This is like a very pale, yeah, just a very like neutral color. Not very exciting really. I feel like the three little eyeshadow products were quite boring, but then I guess that makes them more wearable, like more people would probably use them. So I guess that makes sense. But it would have been nice to have like a nice little sparkly one or something like that, like a glitter eyeshadow or something. But yeah, I feel like that for day 24, like the final day, that's boring. <laughs> that is a pretty crap final day. Well, there we go. That is the MAC advent calendar for 2023. And then you can basically just close it like that. I can see what people mean by it's better than usual because this year we got mostly full-sized products. Like a lot of the products that would usually be tiny were full-sized. So you're definitely getting a little bit more of your money's worth, but I feel like it was just a bit Eh. I also just think it would be nice if they put like a blush in there or a bronzer or a highlighter. I'm also definitely going to struggle with my full face challenge for this one because we were missing most of the stuff for my face. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cut to that clip now and I will try and do a full face of makeup with everything that I got inside. Yeah, that's really not going to go very well though, is it? So as expected, this one has been a massive fail for the full face challenge part of this video because we were missing so many things. Obviously, I've done my foundation, concealer and powder already, but I always do that as like not part of the challenge so that's fine but I've also had to do my bronzer my blush my highlighter and my eyebrows because we didn't have anything for any of those will there ever be a year that MAC put some face products in their calendar because they sell them I feel like they have quite decent like blushes and stuff like that and bronzers and highlighters you put them in your calendar <laughs> starting off with my eyes we've got the paint pot base Thing. I always feel like if I use this, my eyeshadow just sits on top of it really badly. So I'm not gonna use that. And then we have three very uninteresting eyeshadows. I guess, what am I, I can't even do an eyeshadow look with this because I don't have like a shimmer or anything. Well, I'll start off with a bit of the lighter one. I'm just gonna kind of put that somewhere. 
And then we've got two brown eyeshadows that look really similar. I'm gonna take a bit of this one, put that somewhere. I feel like that brown shade didn't blend that nicely, so it all just looks a little bit messy now. Um, the final shade that I have is another brown, but this one is a bit more of like a, I think they call it, they call it a frost. So I guess that's as good as I'm gonna get for putting on my eyelid. I feel like that has to be the most uninteresting selection of eyeshadows I've ever got in any advent calendar ever. We do get these eyeliner pencils, they're like glittery eyeliner pencils, so I guess I'll try and use one of these. Um, you get a silver one and a gold one, I think I'm gonna go for this one, I think it will match better. I guess I'll try running a bit of this, I don't think it's even gonna show up because the eyeshadow is so dark. I'll try running a little bit along here just to add or maybe i could try coloring it all in here yeah i'm gonna try that i'm just gonna put it all over here <gasps> i broke it okay okay i feel like this actually is helping to sort of make it a little bit more interesting i know it's not supposed to be used like this but it's kind of working we also get a black felt tip liquid liner so i'm just gonna use a little bit of that do a little wing <laughs> Okay, eyeliner is done. I would say that's a pretty good one. It's definitely worked. Next, I'm gonna move on to mascara. That is one thing that MAC advent calendars get right. They actually put a mascara in, which is always nice. So I'm just gonna use a bit of this one. I think this might be the same one that they gave us last year. I would say it's a pretty decent mascara. It's a little bit clumpy. Like at first it was kind of clumping together, but I've managed to make it work, I think. So yeah. I'd say it's pretty good. Okay, those are my eyes done. Now I'm on to my lips, which means I have like 90% of the advent calendar to get through for this one section. And I only have one pair of lips and I have all this shit to somehow put on them. I'm obviously not going to, we're just gonna pick one, but oh my goodness, they go crazy on their lip products. Like, do we need this many? I mean, first of all, we've got the Prep and Prime lip balm thing. So I'll just put a little bit of that on. This is nice. Like I always like this every year. First of all, we have one liquid lipstick in this kind of ready shade. Don't think I'm gonna go for that one. I'm not a liquid lipstick person. We then have this lipstick that's a little bit different to the rest. It's in like different packaging and it's quite literally just like a brown color, maybe, maybe. And then we've got a load of these little standard MAC lipsticks. I feel like they are all quite similar. Like these two are quite similar. These three are kind of similar. It's not like the biggest variety. You've got quite a red one here, so I'm absolutely not gonna go for that. <laughs> I had to use red. Was that in my last one? Yeah, I actually used red in my last one. No thanks. I feel like this one just looks too pale. I just can't see that being overly flattering. So we're gonna get rid of that one. Just like gradually eliminating them. We've then got a kind of pinky nude. We've got a slightly more corally nude and then more of a ready toned one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for this one. Plus it's a different kind of product as well. So it's a little bit different. So I need to pick a lip liner to match this. Okay, that's a pretty easy choice. We have two lip liners. One of them is more of a pinky color. The other one's more of a brownie color. So I'm obviously gonna go for this one. I like it. It's definitely very easy to use. The color looks nice. I mean, it's just like a standard nudie brown color, but yeah, I like it. Okay, now we're gonna try a bit of the lipstick. It's kind of like more of a sort of lip balm texture. Like it doesn't come out too strong, which is nice. Like I much prefer that. I actually really liked it. And the shade is, I guess it is a little bit different to what I normally go for. It's a bit darker. It is a bit more just brown, but I think it looks good. I think it goes quite nice with the brown eyeshadow, I think. And then finally we have three lip gloss products or lip gloss products as they call them. We've got a clear one, that's boring, we don't want that. And then we've got these two as well. So we've got a pinky one and more of a bronzy one. I think I've obviously got to go for this one. It's just gonna go better with everything. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and I guess just kind of run it in the center here a little bit. There we go, those are my lips done. And that means that is my entire makeup done. Those are all of the products. No, it's not. You also get a couple of skincare products, which obviously they're not really gonna be very useful in a full face of makeup challenge, but you do get a moisturizer and a serum as well. I think the makeup look turned out all right, but 90% of it wasn't even MAC, so 
<laughs> but yeah, the products that I did try from the calendar were all good. There wasn't anything bad in there. I just think there was a real lack of variety, I think. There we go. This is my makeup done. Let me know in the comments if you think it looks good or if you think it looks bad. Feel free to let me know. That is fine. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed finding out if I got ripped off for the sixth year in a row. Did I get ripped off again? I guess a little bit props, like 170 pounds for that. <laughs> but it's okay, it's, it's all worth it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you very soon for another advent calendar video. Bye! <laughs>